So what are we doing today? So today we're going to go and see the roll right stones. What are the roll right stones? So you know Stonehenge? Yeah. Yeah, it's not that. What's up everybody, it's David and welcome back to this week's vlog. So yeah, earlier on I said that we were going to go to see the, the Roll Right Stones. Just for a little bit of context, my wife and I are trying to make a concerted effort to go and see some of the cool bits and pieces in and around like Oxfordshire. We kind of prefer to do sort of like outdoorsy sorts of bits. We'd normally prefer to take the dogs but unfortunately we found out literally five minutes before we left that, that we couldn't bring the dogs today but that's okay because we're only out for a couple of hours but yeah so that's what we're going to do today. Before that though we're going to stop off at a quaint little place to grab ourselves some coffee so let's get cracking. So why the roll right stones I hear you ask? Well, there are tons of henges in the UK but the vast majority of them aren't really that well known outside of Stonehenge and the ones that aren't well known you can actually get up nice and close to them whereas Stonehenge you kind of like sat behind a fence that's like 20 odd meters away from it so you can actually get up nice and personal with the roll right stones this time which it, it should be pretty fun. The other side of it is that it's obviously in the middle of the beautiful Cotswold countryside which is basically our backyard so there's absolutely no reason not to go and see it at all. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope we enjoy it and uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Coffee in hand, let's go. Right stones, three Neolithic and like early Bronze Age megalithic stone monuments, I guess. So they're all three of them are made from oolitic limestone, which means that they're probably they've been kind of dated to have been from between the fourth and the second millennium. Uh, BCE um, and they actually sit on the border of the Oxfordshire and Warwickshire counties which is kind of cool because actually one of them is in Warwickshire and one of them is in Oxfordshire and I'm not sure about the third one and we'll, we'll find out won't we. So this particular one is the eldest of the three and it's referred to as the Whispering Knights which if you ask me reminds me of um, Whispering Eye from role models, which is perhaps not the best of things to kind of compare it to. But apparently they're from the early to mid uh, Neolithic period, so they're old as shit. And apparently it was assumed that it was used as sort of a burial ground, which is kind of cool. For a minute there, I thought I'd lost my wife. I was looking around, I was like, where the hell has she gone? And all of a sudden I hear her, this is cool, it's kind of like a little labyrinth. I said, look. This is actually really fucking cool. Where did you say it was? It's yeah. It's on that like stump right there, right? Walk the labyrinth to look into yourself, to look into the world, and the world to look into you. Let's do it.
actually really cool. It's like, because of the stones being here, it's as if um, a number of people have taken it upon themselves to kind of build some really cool, like extra bits and pieces, like this particular labyrinth that we're just wandering around now, which is, you know, kind of all seemingly made from wood and whatnot, but there are all sorts of like random structures of stuff. It's really kind of cool to see, <laughs> really quite odd, but it's, it's cool nonetheless. And you know how we like to talk about bivouacs. Looks like there's a starting of a bivouac right there. But yeah, so it looks like people have a lot of fun out here. Yeah, there's like, it's almost like, um, like people have collected a load of stuff for like wicker in it, for like making wicker baskets. I don't know, like look, like this is like some sort of um, strange, almost like a snake made out of wickery sort of tree cuttings. I have no idea what it is, but it looks cool. It's cool. <laughs> Another bunch of random things. It kind of looks like a, a sort of like an archway. Let me see if I can go around this and give you a better, better view, but like, like a random made archway out of what looks like tree cuttings. Yeah, it's all tree. I thought there was rope on it actually, but no. And then we've got another peculiar one of these. Ooh, there's a nice little seat in the middle. Maybe we should go sit there. Okay, I'm sat on the little seat. Honestly, this place is awesome. I'm really quite surprised, actually. I, I thought it would just be the stones. Um, but all of this extra sort of like wood, like, I don't even know what you'd call them, like wood structures. Let's whip around. There you go, there's that one. It's all just kind of truly unexpected. It's really cool. Also, for the record, did I just say record? For the record, um, I've lost my wife again. Where the bloody hell is she gone? Okay, I think I found her. So we've done the first and the eldest of the monuments, the Whispering Knights, and now we're making our way over to the second eldest, the, the King's Stones. Not the King's Stones, the King's Men. Um, so what, what did you think to the, the Whispering Knights? Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Means we're doing the right thing. So this is the uh, second monument. This is the King's Men, which is apparently from the late Neolithic period. I, I'm telling you all these bits and pieces with regards to what they're called. And I'll give you the reason for why they're called that uh, shortly. But yeah, so this is a big stone circle. There have been inferences made that this is this because it's so similar to a number of other stone circles around like the rest of the UK, like in the Lake District and stuff, that uh, the similarity might indicate that it was used for kind of like trade or some sort of ritualistic basis, which is kind of cool. And also it's like, you know, 5,000 years old, which is cool as shit. And again, yet another random wooden structure. I mean, also kind of looks slightly phallic, but... They're really weird-shaped penis. <laughs> yeah, but still. So this beautifully curved creature is the Kingstone. This is the youngest of the three monuments, and despite archaeologists being unable to determine its actual age, it is assumed that it is from the Bronze Age. But you're probably wondering why I keep referring to them as the Kingstone, the King's Men, and the Whispering Knights. And the reason is, that there was an old folk tale as to how the stones came about. Perhaps the most well-known story was about a king who, whilst riding through the Cotswold countryside with an army, was accosted by an old witch named Mother Shipton. 
who said to him, Seven long strides thou shalt take, says she, and if long Compton thou canst see, King of England thou shalt be. His troops gathered in a circle to discuss the challenge, and his knights muttered amongst themselves, but the king boldly took seven steps forward. What a bloody idiot. Uh, rising ground blocked his view of Long Compton in the valley, and the witch cackled. As Long Compton thou canst not see, King of England thou shalt not be. Rise up, stick, and stand still stone, for King of England thou shalt be known. Thou and thy men, whole stone shall be, and I myself an elder tree. The king became the solitary kingstone, while nearby his soldiers formed a circle called the king's men. As the witch prepared to turn herself into the elder tree, because, you know, she's a witch and why the f*** not, she tracked back into um, four of the king's knights who had lagged behind and were whispering plots against the king. She turned them to stone as well, and today they are called the Whispering Knights. And funnily enough, that folktale was still taught in schools until the middle of the 19th century. So yeah, that's the Roll Right Stones. Hope you've enjoyed that. I mean, that was pretty fun for a, a little Sunday morning jaunt. It's nice to see, and it's also kind of nice to to be reminded of just how um, old and incredible the, the prehistoric culture um, is of England. So it's really nice to see. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, we are done now. We're going to head home because unfortunately we were told that we weren't actually allowed to bring dogs here. So we're going to head home to the dogs. Um, Nice little for the afternoon of dog walking and whatnot. If you have enjoyed this, please do drop a like. Um, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Skidoosh!